Hello and welcome everyone, Michael here from Matavism team. Today in quick tutorial I'll show you how to uh, upload and configure Matavism yes. server on your Linux uh, virtual machine. Uh, we'll continue our uh, series of tutorials based on the uh, cloud virtual machines. So we'll uh, reuse or we'll continue using our NetCub virtual machine. To upload the Atavism server files, you will need to go to a panel. From a panel, you will need to download the latest version or the latest version that you have access to of the Atavism server. You can use the download button. I already downloaded to my desktop, so I can skip this part. And to upload the file to server, we will at least I will use the WinSCP. WinSCP is a small free software. Um, we'll connect, like I mentioned earlier, to our existing NetCup virtual machine. So we'll just log in there. And I prefer to keep all the custom uh, software on the slash up the uh, directory. So to do so, uh, I'll just upload there my Atavius server files. And after the files are uploaded there, so you can see here they are there, we will connect the game to the server using the putty. And on the putty, we'll go to this opt directory. So, okay, and here we'll do the ls, and like you can see here, the file is there. So, we'll need to unzip it. And that will extract the files. So now the files are extracted. We can start to prepare the, the Atavism to run. And one of the first step will be to import a database structure. In our case, we will go to the SQL and we'll use the the de demo data. And like you can see here, there are four files for .sql files, so we'll import them using the command. So we'll use the user that we create. It's a Atavis user for the database. And we'll just do the Uh, identify by password. And here we'll be asked to, for, to provide a, um, a Tavism user password for MySQL. And we'll need to repeat this for all these four files. So we have now files ready. Now we will go back to the configuration of the out.properties and uh, word.properties. Okay, and to do so we'll just uh, run command again nano. Here in the first file, we just need to specify a access to the database. As the database is in on the same server, we'll just need to specify the uh, database user and password. In this uh, tutorial, we're using the same uh, username and password, but we highly recommend to don't have so simply passwords. 
like you can see here, the, as it is on localhost, we're done changing this part. So to save this change, we'll just press F2. We'll press then uh, Y for yes, and press enter. So the out properties is configured. The next part or second part is the word.properties. And here we'll need to specify a your email address, your license key. You will have this information in your account on a panel. And here we need to also specify the bin address. Uh, we will use our public IP address of this server, at least for this tutorial. Um, We'll also change this here. This part can be changed. This virtual machine from Madcap have public IP address on, on itself, but the services like uh, Google Cloud or potentially uh, some other uh, services using the NATs, and then you will have kind of a public IP address and internal IP address. As this computer have only public IP address, we'll just use it here and also use it here as a external IP address. The last part for this, we'll just need to configure the, the database again. Yeah, go too far. and we're done changing the host name. Okay, so we can uh, save that. So now after we, we have this saved, we can start now our authentication server and the word server. And to do so, you will just need to type dot forward slash authentication minus V minus capital C and start. The first start will be slightly longer. Let's just, just need to initialize everything. And we'll need to start now word. And if everything was uh, correctly configured. In a moment, you should get information that the server is uh, ready and you can use it. If you put on some mistake either in your email address or your license key, you will get a warning that uh, the license verification failed. But like you can see here, initialization is completed and we can log in now. Again, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.